The second tip that we have within scalability rules comes from a model we first developed within the art of scalability, and that's a three-dimensional cube attempting to simplify the three basic approaches to scale. The first of those is what we call the x-axis, the line that would run from left to right uh, or horizontal with any cube that you would draw, say, on a whiteboard. And it has to do with the duplication or cloning of services, taking exact replicas and splitting them and allowing them to handle transaction volume to allow you to scale. Now, obviously, there are benefits and drawbacks to this, all of which we outlined within scalability rules. The second general approach is to take things and split them apart by something you know about either the service or the data. And an easy way to do this is to think of either nouns or verbs. Um, and those typically are associated with resource-oriented architectures, nouns, or services-oriented architectures, verbs, things like search, login, registration, purchasing, shopping cart. Uh, shopping cart's more of a noun, but I think you get the idea. You can take these nouns or verbs and split apart services and scale in that fashion. The third general approach is what we call the z-axis, and you might imagine that third dimensional axis within a cube. The z-axis is about splitting things apart by something you know about the customer or the object, um, typically based on a lookup type service uh, or potentially a formula, uh, formulaic type split, uh, an algorithm. Oftentimes we'll have customers split or clients of ours split architecture is based on a modulus of something they know about the client or their customer, like a customer ID. Those three basic approaches, if you keep those in your toolbox, will make you successful in scaling nearly any technical platform. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast and I hope you enjoy scalability rules.